practice to spray alfalfa with glyphosate and put it in the silo two days later, that product still has to be there. When that enters the food chain and then we eat those steers or whatever, what is the probability of that coming through to the human placenta? Well, uh, uh, f fortunately, uh, as I understand, e even the uh, um, uh, for the FDA, not the FDA, APA, uh, the GM alpha alpha was uh, a step too far, so they would not uh, agree to it. Um, but it is uh, quite true that uh, gly glyphosate is one of the uh, most uh, uh, widely used uh, general herbicides. They use it for other things uh, too, not just for the um, uh, uh, glyphosate-resistant uh, uh, plants. But the difference now is uh, that while they were using, uh, uh, you know, sort of uh, more sporadically, now you are having these huge interminable lands with the ara soya. And they are just spraying everything. And uh, in this Gaia, nothing disappears. It will get into the, uh, uh, the water supply. It will uh, get into the, 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 uh, the ground. It, will, it is a, a hormonal, it's, it's a <coughs> hormone replacer. There is very good evidence for it. It's not just uh, from the fact that, that uh, uh, sea urchin eggs don't hatch uh, as well as uh, in the presence of, of, of glyphosate. So I think that, that um, uh, you have to, sooner or later, uh, come to a decision about it. Now, I, the only thing I can say is that uh, there is a, a similar product, uh, you probably all know it as Basta. This is uh, 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 glufosinate, and there are a number of glufosinate uh, resistant uh, uh, um, GM plants. The European Union has just outlawed uh, Basta. So that will mean, of course, because it's a package, that those plants will also be outlawed. Now, the, uh, the effect is, uh, is, is somewhat different, but uh, there are uh, common similarities. Uh, and I don't, uh, as I said before, I haven't got my uh, um, uh, crystal ball here with me, but I have a feeling that uh, the days uh, of uh, glyphosate use are numbered in, in, in Europe. Uh, Maybe that, that it's not so in, in, in North America, but in Europe, I would say that uh, sooner or later, probably the sooner, uh, even glyphosate will be outlawed. I'm sure you all know atrazine, uh, which is used on maize, and atrazine uh, took quite a while to be phased out because of the hormone disruptor effect and because causing aversion. So what is clearly seen in Argentina when glyphosate is really used in large quantities, there are uh, birth deficiencies, mouth for babies, and lots of abortion, uh, which they can't explain with any other way. So I am afraid it's either from the environment, or from the food, or from the water, it's coming through. And uh, I would, well, advise very much against it, uh, partly because of its effect, but second, uh, because of the resistance of crops, uh, which is increasing so quickly. Uh, or, sorry, not crops, weeds in the crops. So it will be useless after a while, which means that you have to come up with something much more toxic.